What's happening? Uh, we got a package today. It's on the ground. Woo! It came upside down when they dropped it off. And it says fragile and one side up. So hopefully it's not broken. I think they're strong. They're made for cars. Just got done disking at Zephyr Cove today. Got some goldfishes for my snacks. Jug of water for me and Shasta Girl. I got the drone video rendering out right now. I was set up here at the uh, passenger seat. Shasta was laying right next to me. It's getting work done. Okay, so I was just noticing, I've been thinking a lot about where I'm gonna put this diesel heater in the cab, in the cabin. If I should put it in the trunk, the garage, or if I should put it underneath this bench here. This bench already has a little hole in it. So that'd be easy. Wouldn't have to cut a hole there to like access the heater. You can just run wires down there. And cut a hole in the floor. Cut a hole in the floor, that's gonna suck. Um, I'm gonna tripod up, it'll be easier to see. Computer couldn't render out battery. Battery's running out. Good thing I got the charger in the van. Oh, it just shut down. No, I wasn't fast enough. It didn't give me enough notice. Computer's rendering out. That's good. Now this is a uh, Chinese diesel heater. It's a five kilowatt. Or hopefully that's what I ordered. You know, hopefully that's what it came. Four vent. Digital screen. Digital remote control. And. Probably has no instructions, but it seems like there's tons of people that have done this on YouTube, and hopefully we can figure it out. Unpackaging videos are like adult Christmases. My mom used to take pictures of every package that we opened on Christmas or our birthdays. Oh, what? It does come with a freaking manual. Liars, I tell you. There's liars everywhere. And it's not in Chinese. I can read it. A bag of stuff and four pipes. That's not too bad. And an instruction manual. Should be easy. Okay. It's got the little digital screen. I wonder how long that cord is. Hopefully we can extend that cord to put this screen somewhere. It says it wasn't supposed to be here till next week. I'm stoked. Give me a whole week ahead of time. But that was a whole week of supposed to be editing more video, not filming more video. And the heater's already hooked up. It looks like it. And then an intake and exhaust on the bottom. Gonna have to cut that size hole in the bottom of the van. I'm gonna open this thing up. It says it should be real easy to take this fuel tank off and just wire it straight into the, the sprinter tank. And a positive and a negative. That shouldn't be too hard. Little latches on the side to open it. Dang. Pop, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, it's tight. So yeah, that was my whole reason of buying this system. It might not be the biggest gas tank, fuel tank, but it's all already set up here so that I can see what's going on. Like if I just have to run that tube into my fuel tank, that shouldn't be hard at all. But to put it into the actual fuel pump of the van, I'm just so baffled, I'm confused. But at least I can see what's going on. That's already broken off. snaps right on there. All right, put this back together. Could this go in here next to the toilet? Oh my goodness, it's like, woo! That's a crazy good fit right there. This spot right here next to the door would be really convenient because it's the center of the cab. Problem is it's really far from the trunk. 
So if we wanted to build, when we build the boot and glove dryer, but that's like the easiest to fill it up, but it is only a little tiny tank. All right, in the time it took me to do that unboxing and figuring stuff out a little bit, the drone video rendered out. Um, still have to make like a description and uh, you know, thumbnail picture and description and a title and stuff. Okay, I'm digging this placement the most underneath this bench. Good access and yeah. Okay, this is how everything was set up when we're driving. Heater, tabletops, window coverings. Put the, it'll be nice. I think it'll go good. All right, now on to the build. Stay tuned, see you later. Thanks for watching, peace. As I'm sitting here reading the manual, one of the first page it says, not for heat and dry, life, people, animal, blowing hot air directly. Let me start this over. This is how the first page goes. Function is to use on a boat, yacht, ship, caravan, construction, all kinds of autos and trailers. Autos and trailers is one word. <laughs> There's a lot of like four words mashed into one. Okay, the heater cannot be used all the following place and situation. Constant heat for a long time, like in a living room or in a garage. Residential purpose boat. Should not be used in the following place and situation. Heat and dry, people, animals, blowing hot air directly. I'm so confused, what is this thing? <laughs> like, this is pretty weird.